Hey, nice to have you back here in this new video. Today, let's talk about the brand new accessory design for Insta360 One RS modular system. That is the brand new metal cage designed by Eurig, specific for the One RS modular system. In this video, we're gonna dive deep into the design and use cases to study for this metal cage. So, want to know more about it? Keep watching. Okay, first thing first, let's take a brief look at the design of this metal cage. I'm gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison between the metal cage and the official plastic frame. So what is the real differences in between the designs, in the details, and how you should make the most of your existing plastic frame, as well as this one, the brand new metal cage. Obviously, there is a selfie mirror on the front side of the metal cage, which will definitely give you a composition reference before you press the shutter button. So this works great when you're vlogging with your One RS, cause with the brand new One RS modular system, there is a standalone microphone on the top that can pick up your voice uh, much better compared with the Insta360 One R. And that is the reason why you should always use a vlog selfie mirror when you vlogging with your One RS, the 4K mod or the one like a mod. And at the same time, you should notice that there is two round shaped holes, just like the official plastic frame. The one on the top was left for the indication light on top of the One RS core module. Another one was designed for the pickup microphone on the top. As you can see, they have exactly the same design from one to another. And on the, this side, you can see uh, both of them have similar shape, but this one is much wider to give the camera a much better protection compared with the plastic frame. That is to say, when you mount your Insta360 One RS the camera into the metal cage, you can also take the full advantage of the accessories designed by Insta360, including the, the quick reader. It's nicely compatible with the metal cage, as well as this mic adapter on the side. So you can always plug in an external microphone uh, with the help of the coach mount on the top and on the side. Okay, so this is definitely a brilliant design. You, don't, you do not have any extension part on the a plastic frame, but you have an extra coach mount on the side, which you can definitely put your uh, fuel light on the, on the top, on the top on the side, and the, whatever you want. On the top, you can see there's a built-in coach mount, as well as two extra quarter-inch mount thread hole on the, on the top. Well, on the plastic frame, you have to mount an extra coach mount adapter, but you do have an extra uh, wind protection foam on the top, where you definitely will produce a better sound quality. For this one, you don't have any protection on the top on the microphone, so... And what I love most about this metal cage is actually the bottom design. It has a two-in-one design, the quarter inch mount and a foldable GoPro finger mount, which definitely makes this metal cage much more functional compared with this design. As you can see, this is also a two-in-one design, but at the same time, when you want to use a quarter-inch mount, uh, it, you will lose the foldable GoPro mount, unless you disassemble this, this adapter. And this is how you can install your camera on the side, and you take it out. There is a, a protection silicon rubber on the side, which you can definitely protect your frame of your camera, and inside this metal cage, uh, this metal cage could also be doubled as an external heat sink for this One RS core module. It definitely gives this camera a much more reliable during long-term shooting. And at the same time, you can see the design in the back of the front face. They have the similar option, similar designs. Uh, there's two holes on the top and bottom, which is definitely used for the speakers and the latching point of the battery. So this is definitely another great design in the detail. Okay, and for total weight, it weighs around 19 grams, and this uh, official plastic cage weighs around 61.4 grams. So this one's definitely a little bit heavier, but considering its protection for the camera and extendability for different mount and ports, I think this one is definitely a great choice for your One RS modular system. It has no interference with the one chain like build. It's round shape. It do not have any interference. It's a definitely great design 
But when you take a look at the 360 mod, things got to be a little bit trickier. Uh, so to speak, uh, when you mount your 360 mod on the top, uh, it is totally invisible in your final shot. Of course, it is totally invisible, but at the same time, you should notice that this 360 lens protection rubber is not compatible anymore unless you put it, you mount it in this orientation. So it's definitely a little bit pity about the design of the metal cage, but overall, for the rest, it works just gorgeous. This is totally visible in the final shot. Can you see that? Yes. This one is invisible. So not only it will protect your camera, but at the same time, it is invisible in the final shot. This is definitely great. This is how it looks like when I take out this combo set outdoor for shooting. Uh, this mini tripod, the metal cage, the mini field light on the top, and watch out the selfie mirror. Definitely give you a great reference for make the perfect composition. Uh, here is how it looks like. The tripod is using the MT47 that has a Falcom F38 quick release system. To fully squeeze the image quality of the One RS to better shoot with active HDR, here you can see I shot this behind the scenes video with my DJI Pocket 2, which has a large sensor compared with One RS with 4K boost, but with the active HDR with in-camera flow state stabilization of the Insta 30 One RS, uh, you, the, the image quality is just amazing. How, how contrasty this shooting scenario, camera has performed excellent to burn back the detail and the highlight, at the same time retain the the shadows, details in the dark. Bottom, you can see in the behind scenes of my DJI Pocket 2, the sky got totally blown out. So the active HDR is definitely a killer feature for the One RS with 4K boost. And that is the reason why I tend to use One RS uh, with 4K boost in most of my shooting scenarios. And with this combo set, it has a much better heat sink and it performs much more reliable compared with the official plastic frame. And just look at this beautiful scenery. Uh, the sun is just bright, and the active HDR uh, is just so powerful. Uh, with this combo set, and especially equipped with the uh, vlogging selfie mirror, uh, you not only can capture amazing uh, videos for scenery, but you can also capture a selfie vlog with premium image quality. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the active HDR compared with DJI Pocket 2 without HDR shooting mode. As you can see, the the face looks better, the background has more detail. I really love this combo set, especially when I have this combo set with an extra powerful metal cage designed by Yuri. And overall, this is a great design for the One RM module system. Not only give you a much better protection, but it gives you more options for some extension parts. The microphones, the external LED lights, and even external power bank. Yeah, of course, it works with the uh, uh, the selfie power, invisible selfie power bank. Yes, overall, this is a great design. I love it very much. And I hope we can learn something from this video and definitely help you make better use of your One Arts module system. Overall, it's a great design. I love it very much. And for those of you who want to have one of these, you can refer to the links down in my description. So that is all about this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up subscribe and hit notification bell. Talk to you soon. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.